Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another manual graphics tutorial. Today in this tutorial, we are not making an armchair. Today, we're just going to be working on something very simple and something that adds a, a good effect to your renders, and that is a simple vignette. As you can see, I've got a slight one here, and I'll just be covering the nodes to create this vignette. So I've got my armchair here, and I've got all my color correction leading into it. Now I've got left this open space where I had the uh, when I had the let's just render it out quickly when I had the actual vignette there. But since the tutorial, I've removed it, and we're going to be working on how to do it. So let me just render this quickly. Get rid of that composite. There we go. So we've got it in the viewer here. And what we're going to do is, first of all, the first step in making this is we're going to add a lens distortion. Set that there. And we're going to set the distort value to 1. And that creates, as you can see, a lens distortion. The next thing we're going to add is a maths node, math node, maths. and uh, we're going to change this to less than and change the value to zero and transition this to here. So we have a simple black and white uh, scene here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a blur and we're going to change the blur setting here from Gaussian to fast Gaussian, the relative here, to tick the relative and add the X and Y to 20. You can up that and that, of course, alters it. It's having none. Quite prominent. And of course, you know what the size does. Now, the last thing we're going to add is the effect that makes the uh, makes the image darker. And we do this using a mix node. In instead of being on mix, we can set it on multiply here. Yeah. And the thing that makes this work is we're going to transfer. We're going to drag this node all the way to the start of the actual image and you can see it overlays you can also change the um, app. the little tip I found out is to, if you want to change the color of your vignette you can add another mix node this time setting the mode on to add and I'm changing that to this blue and lowering the factor to 0 0.045 and that just gives our vignette a real slight blue tinge so that's how to make a simple vignette in Blender and of course as I said you can use as I said um, you can use other programs such as Photoshop and GIMP to make a very similar effect but just less refined. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I shall catch you in my next tutorial.